coming. See, I don't like him. Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Don't you think he may be coming for marriage? <laughs> That's the problem. He said he wants me for friendship. That he's married. And what did you tell him? Trust. Either marriage or no deal. <laughs> <laughs> My dear. I've been fooled enough by Ben, you know? So, like, give me a break. <laughs> and he's still pregnant? What are you talking? The guy is crazy about me. Oh, yeah? You know, we'll be having a date this evening. And I'm going to turn him around. I trust. Round and round. <laughs> upside down. <laughs> I can't afford to lose him. He's too rich. He's too rich. And then you have the weapon. What are you waiting for? Nikki, sit down. You have to help me. How? I'm off to the office. Oh, aren't you having your breakfast? No, I'm sorry, I can't wait. I'm already late. Just have a little bite. There you go. Mm, sweet as ever. Where's your briefcase? Oh, in the sitting room. Okay. Take care of the baby. Okay. All Bye -bye. right.
haven't told you. You're looking great. Waiter. Sir. Yes, sir. Get us more chicken, please. Jennifer, I do not know why you decided to be hard on me. I spend all the time in the world with you, yet you do not believe I care. Do you think it's easy for a man to abandon his family for another woman after his heart? Jennifer, I care for you. Enough. Jennifer. Just enough. I don't think you do. Why are you talking like that? Jussie, what kind of love is that? You feel I'm better off a lover? Look, Jussie, if you know you really care and love me like you claim, I think you know exactly what to do. Excuse me. Jennifer? 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 Why are you following me to the ladies? What is all this? Huh? Why are you doing this to me? Have I offended you in any way? I mean, it's embarrassing. People are watching. Embarrassing. You call it embarrassment. Then leave me and have your peace. Do I make myself clear? Huh? Jennifer, please, I care for you. Oh, Lord God, I have told you the right thing to do if you're serious. And if you're not serious, please stop wasting my time. Huh? Now, Jennifer, to be honest with you, I have never intended marrying two women. But I will t I tell you, I'll take care of you, give you anything you want. My wife has two kids for me, and she's a very nice woman. Oh, Lord God. There he goes again. There he goes again. Nice and dead. Look, Justin. You think I don't know what is happening? You think I don't know? What do you mean? <laughs> well, can you claim the fatherhood of your last child? <laughs> Certainly not. I know three of your wife's boyfriends. Jennifer, you're driving this too far. <laughs> you claim she's a saint, didn't you? Enough of all these insults. You can come in a taxi.
the problem? Sir, my friend needs to be taken to the hospital. Can you help us? It's an emergency, sir. Oh, sure. Why not? Come in, come in. Thank you. Easy, 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 easy. Easy. Why is your friend so bloodied up? There is her husband. There's nothing wrong with not seeing marriage. What happened? I protested against his illicit affairs with women. There is this particular woman he's been growing out with for some time now. The worst is that the woman is married and she has a baby for him in her matrimonial home. As fate will have it, I ran into the woman yesterday in the supermarket and warned her. Her name is Helen. To leave my husband alone. But instead, she went ahead and told my husband. So he came back this evening and descended on me. Oh, poor you. <laughs> poor you. Uh, the baby the woman had for him, was it recent? Yes, just about seven months ago. And her name is Helen? Yes, one stupid fair woman married to one rich man they call Josie. Josie? Yes, sir. Helen? Yes, sir. She had a baby for him seven months ago? Yes, sir. Um, uh, which hospital did you say you were going to? Darling, you're back. What is it? Can I get you something to drink? Oh, shut up! Ah. Enough of all this nonsense, darling. Helen, tell me the truth about this baby. What do you mean? I mean, who is the father? I think you're drunk. Who's drunk? I said, who's drunk? You think I have the time for all that nonsense? You've been messing around with men, and you think you can impose that bastard on me? What bastard? Look at the innocent woman you conspired to kill. 
simply because she kicked against your adulterous escapades with her husband? Josie, why are you saying all this to me? I give you ten minutes to leave my house. I don't want to see you again. So this kind of thing can happen. Look at me. Have I ever cheated on my husband? I know how many men I've turned down because of my marriage and principle. And now, look at how Josie is paying me back. God, this is beyond me. You are my only witness. Helen, you haven't slept. Oh I've told you to stop thinking about him. Come on, sit down. Don't allow the thought of him weigh you down. Forget it and hand it over to God. Remember, life is never smooth or true. At one point or the other in your life, you will experience crisis. But it's your ability to manage the crisis that matters at last. Okay? It is not the end of the world. Eh? Forget it, my daughter. Come on. Forget it, eh? Hand it over to God. pointed out, I discovered to my surprise that she had my last child for another man. In fact, I have sent her out of my house with a bastard. Why, Josie? It's not fair. I don't expect you to do that, no matter what. What do you mean it's not fair? You mean I should leave her, that boy in my house with a bastard? After all she's done? Josie, at least you should have given her a second chance. Jennifer, let's forget I was ever married. I am here for a different purpose. Yeah. Uh. Ta-da! Wow! I'm prepared already! <laughs> you are 
real bad daughter. Oh, Excuse me. Okay. Oh, it's celebration time. What are we waiting for? <laughs> so, tell me something. Well, my dear, I can't believe this. It's all happening like magic. He said his wife was a mistake. Really? Mm-hmm. Check it out. Oh my Check god! Check it out! Engagement ring! Yes, of course. Oh, <laughs> you are a wonderful girl. Uh, you uh, mean those silly thing walked out? Yes, it did. It walked out. <laughs> we can't wait to celebrate this. Yes. He's, you know, if you see the way he's kneeling down for me. <laughs> oh, I trust go. I just the dang it. They pull. They dang it. They pull. You know now. Oh, oh please, let's check for me. Thank you very much. Oh, Jess, you are success. Thank you. Yes, can I help you? Who are you? What sort of an embarrassing question is that? Don't be stupid. By the way, where is Josie? What do you mean, where is Josie? Why should you enter my house like that? And who are you guys, if I may ask? Okay. You want to know me? Well, for your information, I am Josie's elder brother. And with me here is his father-in-law. <laughs> that you're just his brother. Does not warrant you to enter my house like that. Will you shut up or I slap the hell out hey, of hey, you? Hey. What's all this noise for? Josie, who is this woman you brought here to insult me? You're so welcome. Josie, I'm asking you a question. Who is this woman you kept here to insult me? Philip, she is my wife. Yeah, what? I said she is my wife. What is wrong in that? Ah. Now I can understand. So it is this whore that made you send away a humble wife. Hey, don't be stupid, mister. Who are you calling a whore? Will you shh? Hey, will you stop all this rubbish? She is insulting me. And you are calling it rubbish? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Josie, I am here to find out what really happened. I have come. I have seen. And I've heard. Josie, I am very, very ashamed of you. Could you recall what you went through before my daughter accepted you as her husband? Now, after two issues, you have the impetus to throw out of your house without even consulting me. No, Josie, no. Now listen, and listen very well. My daughter 
will never, never lack. I'm still strong and alive. Even in death, no man, no man, I mean no man, can toss my daughter nor any of my children around. It's only a fool that forgets his past. And I think you are one of them. Get back to Lagos next week. Lagos? To do what? I've decided to get back there and pick up a job rather than stay here and rot away. Is that how you feel? Is that what you feel? Yes, Dad. At least I'll be doing something. An idle mind, as they say, is a devil's workshop. I am not against you going to Lagos to pick a job. Rather, what is bothering me is that going to Lagos is one thing, getting a job is another. Dad, that won't be difficult. I already know some companies where I can gain access easily. Well, if you are so determined to go, I wish you well. Okay. But you must keep away from men. Remember, people are watching you. Of course they are watching to know whether the allegation leveled against you by Josie is true. This might be an opportunity for you to prove them wrong. I'm delighted to inform you that the company, after much consideration, has decided to offer you employment in our accounts department. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. No, no, do sit. Sit down. Thank you, sir. And uh, the appointment takes immediate effect. Okay, sir. So I'll be expecting your Monday. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Thank you, sir. You look worried. Yeah. I'm bothered. Bothered? About what? Haven't you thought about it? What about what? Jennifer, don't you think we need a baby? It's almost a year now. And there are no signs.
That shouldn't bother you. Darling. I believe God's time is the best. Everything will surely work out. We will have a baby. Believe me. It's all right. Everything will be okay. Okay, sir. I'll be through with this in an hour's time. Ah, that's all right. Aha, Yes, sir. Please come along. Sit down, please sit down, please. Helen, I have a surprise for you. Mm. Sorry. That's a surprise, Helen. Oh, manager, this is too much. Oh, come on, take it. It's from my heart. It's, it's yours. Thank you. That's right. You're welcome. I would like to get close to you. I don't understand what you mean. Come on, Helen. Why are you behaving like this? I mean, we can actually get together. Leave me alone. If that is why you gave me the wristwatch, you can keep it. I don't want it. Helen! Helen! by 11 a.m. tomorrow. I want you guys to waylay her. Do not harm her. I repeat, do not harm her. Understand? It's all right. The job is already done. We are through with chapter one. Over to chapter two. Wait a minute. I don't understand. Our profit. But, but, we're sharing the loot. 50-50. Is that not okay? <laughs> Cigarette, please. Thank you. Living for the bank. I was almost on my way, sir, before you called me. The problem is that there's no car to take me to the bank, sir. How much do you have there? Nine hundred and fifty thousand naira, sir. Manager, see me immediately.
I'm here, sir. Yes. You remember she's going to the bank to lodge in some money? Yes, I do. So what's wrong? She's ready and there's no car to take her there. So uh, I sent all the available vehicles on official assignment. The three vehicles? Yes, sir. They all left for individual official assignments. Anthony went to the warehouse to bring in some goods. Michael went to the mechanic. And okay, yeah. okay, I see, I see. Uh, Helen. Yes, sir. You have seen that all the cars are engaged. Yes, sir. So pick a taxi and do that fast before the bank closes, right? Okay, sir. And uh, try to come back in time because you have some records to update for me. Alan Abi? How much? Five hundred naira, five woman. Uh-uh, three hundred. Five woman, only five hundred naira. Three hundred naira. Please open it for me. Okay, okay. I will for you. Five woman. Five hundred naira. I don't know what they do my carburetor, I beg. Make I just check, I'm no first, I beg. Well, whatever you're doing, do it fast. I'm working with time. Okay, okay. Ah, this car will put me for a while. Serious, for a while. the bag. Which bag? Okay.
Good day, sir. How is she fairy? Uh, she's responding to treatment. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, I'm dead. You're welcome, sir. I'm really sorry. Yes, sir. So, how did it happen? The taxi I entered had a problem on the way, sir. As the driver was trying to rectify it, some robbers entered the vehicle. They ordered the driver to move. As we took off, I was surrendered and dispossessed of all the money. Later, I was thrown out of the moving taxi. That is all I could remember. The nurse told me that somebody brought me to the hospital here. I'm sorry. So, all the money is gone. I'm really very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Excuse me. How do you see that statement? I mean, it's really suspicious. How do you mean? From the way she spoke, I have a premonition that she knows where that money is. That story is fake. And I believe that if she's really tortured, she will say the truth. Yes. Believe that. But what do you think? I don't know who I'm going I better man, I better look. He bought you look for a more fun more. Number, number Is your name? Jennifer. There is a problem. Very big one. But it will be solved. You are lucky you are in this place. W what is the problem? Do you have a wife that you are no longer living with? Yes. She is a witch. She is responsible for your wife's problem. She tied her womb so as to force you send her away and bring her back. What do we do? We need to perform some rituals to enable her to produce babies. What are we doing the rituals? As soon as you provide the following items. One ram. One white cock. Fifteen tubas of yam. And ten thousand naira. Uh -huh. Alright, I'll get them tomorrow. Remember, the earlier, the better.
this woman stole the money. She's a hardened criminal. <laughs> Has she confessed? Okay. How do you expect her to confess so easily? She hasn't yet said anything. <laughs> okay, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Excuse me, Sergeant. Can I speak for, uh, for a while with her? Yes, you can. But well, please be very brief about it. That's all right. Helen, <laughs> listen carefully, Helen. This might be your last chance. The MD has threatened to take this matter to court and is right here with the DPO. 950,000 Naira is a lot of money, you know that. And for information, if this matter gets to court, you may likely end up in jail. Anyway, I can help convince the MD to forgive you. Only if you will accept my condition and grant my request. Yes, that's just that it's simple. Manager. Yes. What I want you to know is that I'm innocent. I'm innocent. And if that's your request, it's the only basis for helping me. I advise you forget it. I'm ready to die for this. Ah, you are ready to die for this, huh? Hmm. All right, then you will die for it. Do you think this woman is telling the truth? How do they talk like? Yeah, a troublesome woman, you know I'm looking at it. Yeah. Sergeant. Sir, has the lady made any useful statement? No, sir. Go and get her for me. Okay, sir. Say that you don't want to help yourself. We don't intend to harm you. All we need is the truth, and you are out of this place. Sir, I have told them all the truth I know. Except if you want me to admit what I did not do, just to please the police. The money was snatched from me by armed robbers at gunpoint. Look at all the injuries I sustained when they threw me out of the taxi. I don't know what else to say. This is the truth. I'm nothing but the truth. Shut up! Do you think this is your office? Thank you. Can I see? This young lady is sounding innocent. Please, can you release her for me while you continue your investigations? Okay, no problem. Sergeant, so. Meet me in my office. Okay, sir. I have decided to give you a second chance. To that effect, I have cancelled your suspension, but with condition. One, you will no longer handle cash in this company. Two, 
You'll be receiving half of your salary until we conclude the investigation. Right? Yes, sir. Now you can go. people to deal with. They are. By the way, what effort have you people made? Because the way I'm seeing this thing, it looks as if that's the only thing that can guarantee your stay in this house. Hmm. Well, we met a native doctor and he said his wife, Helen, was responsible for it. Who? Helen. Hey! Go, 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 go. Hey, tell me something. We've completed the necessary rituals. I just pray and wish that very soon something good comes out from it. Me too. Hey, Jenny, I wish you people good luck. Amen. Jenny, I should be going. Look at the time. Why so soon? Don't you think your husband may recognize me if he comes here? Oh, it's true. You reason very fast. Let me see you. I want you to print out those things from the computer for me. And um, let me have my card. Good day here. Yeah, good day. Welcome. Yeah, can I see the manager, please? Oh, sure. Turn right, first door left. Thank you. Huh? Any problem? No, no. I'll come back to this later. into thin air. <laughs> what do you expect? I've been having fun. <laughs> boss, who wouldn't have fun? Boss, boss, manager. <laughs> Helen, what are you doing in my office? Why are you disturbing my office? I just want to pick up a file for the MD, sir. Then pick it and get away from here immediately. All right, sir. What are you still doing? I'm Out you go. Stupid woman. Please, let's get back. Is that not the lady we were late the other day? That's the idiot. So why is she still here? Why didn't you suck her like you said you would? My dear, I don't understand this office anymore. The MD brought her back. Who knows, maybe the MD is even going out with her. Well, that's what it should be. 950,000 naira is not the kind of money one can forget easily. Are you sure she won't recognize me? <laughs> hey, what's funny? <laughs> boss, boss. I used to think you're a strong man. Well, of course I am strong, but I'm just being on the cautious side. Why are you sounding chicken-hearted now? <laughs> are you sure? 
<laughs> anyway, boss, uh, you don't have to worry about that. You know, that woman has a very short memory. I mean, short, very, very short memory. <laughs> and besides, her, her condition that day and the situation that very day too won't, won't permit that. It won't allow it. Manager, but, so but. don't trust me. You don't know what I can do. I'm because of the short memory. <laughs> boss, boss. Manager. You make me laugh. <laughs> so, what's the new deal? Uh, boss, you know we can't talk here. Really? We can't talk here. This is an office, you know. So, is your joint? Yes, yes, definitely. I'll meet you at the joint now. Manager. 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 Honestly, let me walk you down. Thank you. So, you see, I've been thinking about to, you know, meet with you and you just walk in like that. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Sir, I think this might interest you. What is this? I'd like you to listen to this, sir. I was at the reception some moments ago, sir. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Where did you get this? I was at the reception some moments ago, sir. Mm -hmm. When a man I recognize as one of the people that robbed me walked in and requested to see the manager, I thought of what to do. I now remembered I had this tape recorder in my office, so I decided to use it and record their discussion. He's not in at the moment, sir. He saw the man off. Hello? Is that a DPO? Oh, yes. DMD. <laughs> Please, there's an emergency here. Uh, could you please send down two of your detectives? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, mm, about ten minutes' time, yes. Or thereabout. Okay. Thank you. Now, go and see if he's back. 
Spolice. He just stepped in now. Did you tell him anything? No, sir. Manager, could you please come over here now? Come in, gentlemen. Oh. Gentlemen, I want you to listen to this carefully. This man who calls himself my manager. Sorry, sir, we have to go with the Ikasa. Um, manager, you're under arrest. Get him. Let's go. with you, you regret being alive. Oh, you don't want to say the truth. Officer, oh, bring your suckers! Bring your suckers! Please, 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 Oh, boy, don't be like that. Come come back. Give me the right way now. I think that way. The ball! Oh, oh. Stone, stone. Oh. The ball! Stone, stone. The cucumber. Balls. <laughs> the ball! The balls. Oh, boy. See the way we just the gang up, baby. We did enjoy you. <laughs> stone, stone. It's the album, bro. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Stone, stone. Hey. How is your new car doing? That guy is one hell of a problem. <laughs> so next door, you need to sit with at the cool round town with my new cook, my best cook. Come on, come on, Anna. I beg you, one golden. All right, sir. Come on. All right, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Hold it right there. Now stand up, my prisoner. Shut up. Oh, see, it's easy. It's way. It's a closet. Move. It's a closet. What's the deal? That girl is it. What the hell is going on? Shut up. I said to shut up. Now move them out one by one. Move, move them. Move. 
down the building and more than 15 people are feared dead. Meanwhile, the state government has set up a board of inquiry to ascertain the cause of the outbreak and to forestall future occurrence. The police has taken yet another bold step in, in the discharge of their duties. A gang of three armed robbers that have been terrorizing the city of Lagos were smashed this morning following the tip up the same gang reportedly robbed the staff of EM companies of the sum of 950,000 Naira in March. The company's manager, who collided with them, is currently facing criminal charges at the Lagos High Court. To end the news, the... Thank God. That's Samson right. <laughs> saying goes, the end justifies the means. It's all right, sir. It's not your fault. I've forgotten all about that. My only happiness is that I've been exonerated from the crime. It's all right. Don't, 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 don't cry. Sit down, sit down, sit down. that uh, you see it that way. Actually, I called you here to inform you that uh, you have been elevated to the position of the manager of this company. Congratulations. Oh, oh thank you, sir. And also, you are to receive a cash reward of a hundred thousand naira for all the inconveniences you went through. Thank you very much, sir. No, 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 don't no, 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 no,
Do you feel any pains? No. for abortion. I was still a copper then. Do you remember? No. You see, I don't know why some of you women keep on deceiving me. You will remember that your womb was totally removed through surgical operation. It is because of my religious belief I advise you against the abortion. But you insisted that you wanted it. You see, you know all this. But you did not want to tell your husband. You kept on pushing him around. I don't know why some of you women are so secretive. Well, Mr. Josie, that is the story. You have heard it all. There is absolutely nothing I can do. It is irreversible. Yes, sir. 
Right, sir. Yes, sir. I've dispatched them. Good. What about the evaluation report? It's been done, sir. Good. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Actually, Helen, I must say this. I'm really impressed. You see, actually, I called you here to inform you that you have been uh, assigned an official car and accommodation. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. In fact, I've informed the storekeeper to, to come around and uh, show you the place. Okay, sir. You know Mr. Isaac? Oh, yes, sir. Henceforth, he will be your personal driver. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, <laughs> May God bless you, sir. I, I really appreciate it, sir. Good evening. What can I do for you? May I come in, sir? All right. Yes, what can I do for you? I thought you would remember me. No, I don't. Anyway. I am Neki, Jennifer's friend. Oh God, another level is here. Then what are you doing here? Please leave my house. I don't want to see Jennifer or any of her friends. Take it easy, sir. Please. I'm not here on her behalf. I'm here to confess good news. <laughs> confess good news? <laughs> what good news could come from Jennifer? All right, what's the good news? Please, can you sit down? Sir, I have a confession to make. Something I did to you and against my conscience. Let me warn you, young lady. If you are here to entice me to marry you, you've got it all wrong. You've made a very big mistake. Don't think like that, sir. I'm a born-again Christian. I've given my life to Christ Jesus. The Bible says that whosoever that is in Christ Jesus is a new creature. All things have passed away. But I have this burden in my spirit. That's why I'm here to confess it to you. I contributed in tearing apart your family. Jennifer, my friend, came to me one day. She pleaded with me to help her frame up your wife so that can pave way for her to marry you. That I did. I disguised myself as that pregnant woman you saw on the way last year. You mean you were the pregnant woman who told me my wife had a kid for your husband? Yes, sir. Uh, 
problem. So my friend needs to be taken to the hospital. Can you help us? It's an emergency, sir. Sure, why not? Yes, come sir, come thank come. you. Thank you. It's all a lie. We framed it up. I wasn't pregnant. Neither was I married. All those things you saw on me, the pregnancy, the blood stains, we all make up. So, sir, I want you to please forgive me. I want you to forgive me and bring back your wife. She is innocent. And I want you to give your life to Christ Jesus so that he will plan your family and straighten your way. Please. So I've been fooling myself all this while. This lady has messed up my entire life. Where do I start? What do I do? What have you come to do in my house? You this useless boy. I haven't even told you what. I don't want to know why you are here. Meanwhile, Helen is almost staying here. She is in Lagos. So, at the count of three, I want you to leave my house before I descend on you. You don't need to count. One, I need to count. Two, I don't need to count. Stupid, useless boy. Your wife last week, she told me you traveled. Which of my wives? 
Come on, do you have two wives? Helen, of course. Helen? Yeah. Where do you see her? In her office. Where is her office? Oh, Josie, why all these questions? You mean you don't know where your wife is working? Davidson, please take me there. I'll drop you off later, please. Oh. Justin, what are you doing in my house? That's the door. Hey. You can use it. Is it, is it, is it? Huh? I'm here for peace. I don't want your peace. Leave my house. Hey, easy. I know I have offended you. But whatever happens, I'm still your brother. Phil, I have come to apologize and seek your forgiveness for all I've done against you. I've realized all you've been telling me. Jennifer really blinded me. But I thank God I finally sent her away. Look at you, Joseph. Look at what you have done to yourself. I used to think that you were sensible. How could you send away Helen? Because of a woman you knew nothing about. Helen, who stood by you when things were very difficult. Helen, who kept our family united. Huh? That is wickedness, Joseph. Now, what do you want me to do for you? Phil, I... I want to reconcile with Helen, the mother of my children. But she has refused to allow me to. I need your assistance.
Jose. Please, take it easy. Why don't you just sit down? No, Philip! I have taken my decision about this young man and it is final. Jose, please. Jose, please. Please. Jose. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the things I've put you through. It is all the machinations of the devil. I promise it will never happen again. And say, please forgive me. Please forgive him. Please. Dad, I don't mean to sound stubborn, but I think I'm through with Josiah. I want to be left alone, to have my peace. I don't think I'm ready to put myself through all that any longer. Helen, why are you working out on me? Dad, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. It's okay. how you feel but you have to take it easy consider the future of your kids consider your own future too there is something I want to let you know what you experienced is not peculiar to you it happens in so many families Your husband has apologized. He has even sent away the evil woman that lied against you. He has promised never to repeat it. My daughter, I will be happy to see you people reunite. And that is why I am here. It is not the best for a woman to stay alone. Forgive me. It was due to my carelessness. But oh, please, forgive me. Josiah, you are heartless. You want me back in your house. Maybe you also want the bastard back in your house. You threw me out of your house for no just cause. You never cared. You even abandoned your own children. You never cared. Now you want me back in your house. I'm sorry. Please. Helen. Please forgive him. Please. Helen. It's okay. Forgive him. I'm sorry. Please. 
It will never happen again, please. Entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Aforevo Dobbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.